for the first shutdown, it was a little bit scary. You know, it kind of brought in the possibility of there being no high school season. Now that hockey is back, players, coaches, and spectators must follow a new set of rules to play. To be dressed before you go into the rink. So everybody has their, their full gear on except for the skates. Um, and you walk in uh, and you, like, you sign a sheet now. Most places they'll take your temperature. Aside from safety guidelines, out-of-state games and players are banned. That doesn't have much of an effect on us. It's just going to be, you know, our, our travel this year will be limited just to stay primarily in central mass. Schedule will be a little bit shortened, but non nonetheless, it, it, it shouldn't affect the um, level of play that I expect. WMCT asked the Marlboro hockey coach and captain what were some of the hardest adjustments for their team? Just school, because hockey, I think, I think they're doing great with it, but it's definitely tough to, to learn in online school. Now that masks are involved, players also have to train differently. That is tough. I'm not going to lie. You know, the mask will get wet, it'll get like sweat on it, uh, and you just have to kind of play through it. So uh, what I did personally, I was going on runs, and I would just wear a mask and just to kind of get, I guess, acclimated to it a little more. Coach O'Brien says the restrictions may impact youth players the most. We well, always tried to bring a few of the younger players along by allowing them to be around the team and allow them to skate practices. Um, I, I, th I think from that standpoint this year, um, the MIA may impose a strict number of players for each roster and the number of players that are allowed on the ice. If everything goes as planned, hockey is set to return in mid-December. In Marlboro, Stacey Sergison, WMCT News.